everybody. Jeff here. Jeff the Traveler, as it were. Out here at the trailhead to Fort Bowie. It's about a mile and a half walk up and down the hills, which uh, it's a little too warm to be doing today. So I thought I'd just stop by here and uh, show you what it looked like, in case you're ever in the area, where you start. Then we'll drive on down the road to actual Fort Bowie. So, get my stuff together here and uh, let's go look, take a look. Here we are. Some really beautiful surroundings. Except for the porta potty, probably. Okay, let's turn the camera, let's give everybody a look see. All right, this is where you start. Go on out, climb through the mountains, several things out that way to look at. Old stagecoach place and a couple other things, don't remember right now. Well, let me take one of these brochures here. Maybe we'll read some of that to you a little bit later on. Okay. A little info, we can check that out a little bit later on. I have hiked part of this trail before. It's not a bad trail, but like I say, it's a little too warm out there. Right now it's like 93 degrees out. And time I would get there would be over 100. So I think we'll just go down here to the uh, fort. Okay, back to the truck. Get on down the road. Let everybody see what's up. we be back at you in a few minutes. A flash of an eye to you probably, but a few minutes or more. Okay, everybody. We're out here at the Fort Bowie National Historic Site now. And we're going to walk up the little pathway about 300 yards or so. What's it say? 350 yards towards the visitor center. And then uh, we'll look around, see what we got out here. Okay, let's see. Yeah. And as always, you can stop and pause and see what we got going on here. All right, now, let's go ahead and get up this hill. And see what we see. Okay, coming in. First sign I see says, Laundry and Bathhouse, 1886. Hmm. Take a bath in the... Uh, old uh, stone uh, walled building. Just some basic facts about Fort Bowie. It was established by the California Volunteers, which was the U.S. Army, after a series of engagements between the Chiricahua Apaches. The most violent of these conflicts was the Battle of Apache Pass in 1862. The fort was named in honor of George Washington Bowie, who first established the fort. There were two engagements between the United States Army and the Chiricahua that led to the construction of Fort Bowie. The first engagement, known as the Bascom Affair, took place in January 1861. 
The second major engagement was the Battle of Apache Pass, fought in July 1862, when Union troops were ambushed by a band of Apaches while en route from California. For more than 30 years, Fort Bowie and Apache Pass were the focal point of military operations, eventually culminating in the uh, surrender of Geronimo in 1886. For more information on the battle like this, the Battle of Apache Pass and the Bascom Affairs, go ahead and Google it online and you'll be surprised what you read. The fort was abandoned in 1864. Oops, excuse me, I mean 1894. Another uh, road sign says subsistence storehouse. 1869. Okay. Imagine living out here in the middle of nowhere heat and cold the summer and the winter and everywhere you went you had to go up and down these little hills wow huh sign right there says old hospital 18 or yeah 1868 Okay, another sign. See what this is supposed to be. Post Trader. Settler's Store. Hmm. Rabbit just ran by. Ah, looks like they're hiding their construction stuff over here.
little sign here says, the day the canteen burned. Ah. Old schoolhouse. Must have been the parade grounds. Well, flagpole right there. If you read that, it says uh, down the bottom right corner that uh, those soldiers were uh, messaging with heliograph. If you don't know what that means, that means basically they did uh, some kind of Morse code or encoding with uh, from the distance off with uh, mirrors. Kitchen mess hall. 1883. Huh. Infantry barracks. Not a very big pair of barracks. It's around here. Next to the kitchen and stuff. Officer's row, officer's quarters.
War Officers Quarters, 1873. Not a whole lot left. Oh, no wonder this is so big. Wow, that's a heck of a picture. Commanding officer's quarters. Okay, back down the hill. Let's see what's down here. War Officers' Quarters, Well, it's gone now, but the tailor shop used to be over here. And what is this over here? The big building right here. Cavalry Barracks. A little look through the window. Nice little hole in the wall, except for too many spiders. I'm not sticking my camera through there. You're out of luck. Another window door or whatever. Oh, here's a real door. Hi, boys. I'm here for a nap. Moving right along. Something else here. Signs this down here telling what it was, I imagine.
not telling what it is, but it's a picture of Geronimo and his band in captivity. More cavalry barracks, 1870s. Man, what do we have here? Cavalry mess hall and kitchen. Didn't have very many officers that they ate in shifts. Almost back to where we started. Let's see if we can make our way over to the uh, ranger station. Ranger station's closed. Okay. Take a little look anyways. Oh, here we go. Picture for Brie, 1894. If I'm looking at this picture right, I'm judging my <clears throat> mountains right.
And that's what the fort looks like today. Probably still be here long after we're all gone. Well, everybody, that's about our tour of Fort Bowie for today. Hope you kind of enjoyed the little trip. Didn't get too hot, didn't sweat too much. But I am thirsty and I have a big old jug of water and Gatorade in the truck. And it's two minutes down the hill. So we'll go ahead and head on back down that way. And get ready for our next adventure. <laughs> Might be fun. Might be interesting. Give you a little clue. It's over in New, New Mexico. So, hope you enjoyed the video. So you have a good day, a good week, a good month, and a good life. Later. <laughs>